Good evening, boys and girls. It's been a minute. I, my goal in 2022, I will try to pump out two videos a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, I'm thinking. Um, now, I just want to tell you about a conversation I had with a former friend. We will call him Posh for legal reasons. And the reason I want to tell you about personal stories, because there's plenty of great channels out there. I subscribe to many myself uh, that cover the craziness going on with BuzzFeed and CNN and and just the world in general, in different activist groups, slacktivist groups. And so I just want to tell you about personal experiences with people who do fall for that propaganda, people who do read those articles, not with a laugh the way you or I do, but or anyone, but uh, uh, with seriously, and they think that is the world. These people do think, you know, America, this is 1937 Germany, if you're not using pronouns. Right. So anyway, back to the subject at hand, I found this one very telling, very interesting about some of my local folks here. Now, Posh and I he used to kind of have an agreement, but he's kind of, yeah, as the left went further left, I, I, I stayed here. I'm still right here. I was a Bernie Sanders volunteer. Don't hang up yet. Hear me out. OK, I'm, I'm not left anymore. They they burned down too many cities in my mind to support them anymore. Uh, attack women. Well, I'll get into this as the videos go on. But Posh is one of those people that, you know, went with them to the left. Just too far for me. I can't even throw a football that far. So, anyway, um, basically, the conversation was I just mentioned to a lady friend of his, a mutual friend, said, I wouldn't date. If I was at, the, at a club or a bar, and I saw a lady with fishnets and a skirt so short, it didn't matter if you took it off or not, the two boobies hanging out, whatever. That's not a girl I would be interested in in a long-term relationship. I like girls to dress a little classy, you know? And, man, you think I just punched a woman in the face, okay? Or a baby in its crib because, well, I guess you can punch a woman in the face if I was a trans woman, but that's a different story. Um, but... They just swore all the all the blue haired and purple haired chicks and all the beta males just on social media came after me. And I just thought it was very interesting uh, getting to see into their minds a little bit because just there, just a tiny bit. Whatever. Don't worry, I'm not trying to hide my TV. It's not stolen or anything, but whatever. I'm just anyway. Uh, so and it was just funny because they how dare you not want to date. How dare you say you're not sexually attracted to women who dress in a super trashy way? How, you despicable, fucking alt-right, even though I'm not, male. And and I just thought that was really funny. You know, it's just proof that, uh, I know better men have said it than me, that yes, today women can have standards. Women can have standards like uh, he wore a brown belt with black shoes. I'm not dating him again. Um, seen. I'm 5'7". I've never been turned down for my height, at least not to my face. But I do read about it all the time. I see interviews with girls. They're like, I'd rather date a 6'0 man that cheats than a 5'6 guy that's loyal. I'd rather date a 6'2 serial killer than a 5'2 guy that, you know, treats me well and has a lot of money. And so but that's fine. Women can have that standard. I'm not complaining. Again, it's never been an issue for me. But... The second a man says, well, I don't like a woman to dress that way or be over this weight or have a body count over this number, you know, patriarchy, you're a bad guy from World War II, and that's just hilarious. It's just, again, women can have standards and don't owe men sex. Top val high value men, high on the dating market scale, can't have standards, do owe women dating, dates, and sex. It's ridiculous. So... The whole, you know, he comes at me, posh, we'll call him that, you know, with the whole don't judge a book, you know, he's trying to kiss butt to maybe, maybe one day he'll get out of the friend zone. And that's his strategy. That's, he's a victim of propaganda is all he is. And he says, don't judge a book by its cover. Posh, my far left, crazy, male feminist, ally, victim of left wing propaganda friend. That's why books have covers. Okay. I'm a Dean Koontz fan myself. The Odd Thomas series is fantastic. I highly recommend it. It's a great read, except the last one, but whatever. If I buy a Dean Koontz Odd Thomas novel that says Dean Koontz Odd Thomas on the cover, and I pick it up, and I, and I get 30 pages in, and I realize I've just spent the last 30 pages 
reading about moss on a rock, I know, crap, this is a Stephen King novel. Ah, oh, and I'm going to be mad. That's why you dress the way, well, I just got off work, cut me some slack. Okay, but that's why, yes, you put the cover on the way you, who you want to be seen as, okay? Walk the walk. You know, it's, again, I'm, I'm not a young man. I'm 36 years old. I'll be 37 this year. It's so stupid, this idea that you have to take me on dates to find out who I really am. Why? I'm not going to invest. No one has, life is short, guys. Okay, I've lost loved ones. I, let, take it from me. Life is short. I don't have six months to spend digging past the layers. I'm sure you're very layered with your fishnets and blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you're just so fascinating telling me what types of music you like and what movies you like. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So anyway, yeah, that's it. I don't have six months. Not to mention the money, dates, dinner, movies, concerts, road trips, hotels, whatever. Six months of that to see if you're the 10%. By that, I mean nine out of 10 women that dress classy probably are classy. Nine out of 10 women that dress trashy probably are trashy. Nine out of 10 women that fucking present themselves respectively probably are respectable. Nine out of 10 women that look like they're for the streets are for the fucking streets. Okay? And I, no man owes it to any woman to keep just throwing down money and time and days and months of their lives to find out if you're not. Understand? You don't owe men sex. Men don't owe you sex either. Posh doesn't understand this because he's a male feminist. He's an ally. Hey, man. <laughs> okay, I can't afford... I don't know how those guys even do all that cutting and editing, but some of them are just brilliant. Okay. Anyway, guys, women don't dress that way. Anyway, for any other way, most of them... Yes, I'm generalizing because most is a generalization. So I can make an assumption off of most. 60%, that's not good odds. But it's 90% odds that I'm wasting my time. Okay? Women dress like that because they want attention. They want likes on Facebook. And they want free drinks. Women don't sleep with men who buy them drinks. Okay? If a woman is attracted to you, she will come to you. You don't have to do anything if a woman's attracted to you. Okay? For Most of my girlfriends, I didn't make the first move. They came up to me, gave me a phone number. They came up to me, put their hands on my shoulder. That was when I made the first move, right? No, it was before then. They let me know, like, hey, I'm into you. Okay? The guys that come over buying drinks, next thing you know, you're buying dinner. Next, you're helping them pay rent. Next, you're buying them tires. And next, you're in the friend zone, buddy. That's it. And that's all you're going to get. Okay? If she was interested, you wouldn't have had to buy her that drink in the first place. You wouldn't have had to keep throwing in money. If she had any sexual interest in you guys, and you need to understand this, the hard pill to swallow, but you need to swallow it, she wouldn't ask you for money. She would just want to jump your bones. That's it. Women like that want two men in their lives. One to supply them financially and one they're sexually attracted to. And if you're the one who's just forking over cash left and right, you're not that guy. I hate to break it. Hey, I've been there myself in my younger days. I was not born a red pill man. It took me experiences. Oh, who hurt you, Dusty? Truth is, no, there's no man out there who hasn't been hurt by a woman. Every guy out there who's been in the friend zone of 20 girls and only had one or two girlfriends is hurt all the time. They're, they're a thousand times more hurt than I am. They just refuse to take the steps to get out of the friend zone and start sleeping with women instead of being their friends. The only women I'm friends with, I either dated and slept with first or they were dating a friend of mine and I respected their boundaries or I was taken. That's it. Okay, so anyway... But this conversation was just hilarious because, again, it was just all against me. They had guys in there literally going, you know, I'm just saying, hey, I don't want to dress. 
you know, of course there was Paul, she was like, just because she dresses like a slut doesn't mean she is. Okay, well, I'm just going to assume she is. But then you had guys that would literally chime in with, mmm, I like sluts. And that was fine. Nobody went after him. Nobody said anything. Um, again, because guy, because these are friend zone guys. Posh is a friend zone guy. Yeah, he, he thinks he knows what he's talking about with women. He's my age. He's had probably two or three girlfriends. I, I guarantee you they're all over 200 pounds. It's all single moms after they've dated guys that he perceives as jerk, chads, whatever. I'm sure he hates that word, alpha, or whatever. Uh, I don't want to call myself out because it just seems to, you know, big self-aggrandizing. Like, yeah, I got a big swinging dick, you know, whatever. I don't say it, but but I, I do uh, tell you that the reason, in my theory, the reason why all these women were so upset is because, again, that is their plan. They need a posh. They need a, mmm, I like those guy to buy them crap provide them financially and resources and pay for their babies born out of wedlock and all that crap. And they want a guy who's sexually attractive to sleep with. And they know that guy's not going to buy him anything. So when I, when the guy they want to sleep with says, I'm not interested in, in your type, they blow their lid because it, it, it just threw their life plan. You know, now one day, maybe if they don't want to die lonely, they're going to finally have to give, offer themselves to posh or Mr. Mm, I like sluts guy because and that's heartbreaking to them yes they'll be 45 and 220 pounds and have two baby daddies at that point and more physical scars and they're gonna have a list again guys if women are attracted to you you'll never see that list I expect you to do this this and this and I don't do dishes and I don't cook and da 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 if women are attracted to you you will never see that list you'll never hear that crap Guys like Posh and Mr. Mmm, I like sluts, don't understand that. They keep thinking if they kiss enough boots, if they lick enough toes, if they tell them how pretty they are a thousand times a day, they can break that friend zone marker. So as, mu as much as I'm mocking him, I also feel sorry for him and want to help these men out. So if you have any different opinions, please feel free to comment if you like. If you agree or disagree, tell me all about it in the comments. Uh, if you like it, hit that button. If you don't, fine. That's okay, too. If you want more channels, uh, videos like this, again, I'm going to try to put out two a week. And if you're interested, again, subscribe. If not, that's okay, too. Peace out for now.